How's it going, guys? My name is TJP or Trevor, whatever you want to call me. And today we are back for another My NBA 2K21 rebuild. We're going to be doing the Dallas Mavericks, a Western Conference team this time. Uh, this should be fun. Dallas, we did Atlanta uh, last episode or last video. So if you guys want to check that out, I have a playlist in the description with all of my my NBA rebuilds and my WNBA rebuilds as well. And while you're in that description, uh, subscribe button's right there. There's a like button. You guys can hit that. And also check out me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. Comment down below some future rebuilding ideas. But that being said, let's just get on to the gameplay because I'm sure that's what you guys are here for. And let's just make Dallas better than what they already are. All right, so here we go. Loaded up the 2021 draft class. Pretty good stuff here. Pretty good stuff. Let's take a look at our roster. So Luka Doncic, obviously we're going to be keeping him like wouldn't make sense to not keep him uh and also Chris Dabbs Porzingis I mean basically we're trying to keep these two guys for the most part uh, I know they just traded for Josh Richardson because you know why not um we have three shooting guards that are pretty good I, I don't know we might have to make a look we have a little to make some moves I mean there's some stuff to be made here um I know they have a couple of guys that we could possibly flip Maybe not now, but we're definitely going to eventually do it, regardless. Um, is this the rookie that they drafted? I guess so. Um, but yeah, let's see. We have three point guards. We have four shooting guards, two small forwards, three power forwards, and four centers. Uh, let's see if we can... I'll look around for a move, and if I can't find anything, we'll probably just roll with the team. Well, so much for trading for another shooting guard. Okay, well, we're doing this deal. I mean, Drew Holiday is coming to the... I mean, this is a no-brainer. I don't really want to give up J.J. Barea, though. Can I Can I keep J.J. Barea? I know most people don't. Well, I would like to keep J.J. Barea, just because he seems like he fits Dallas. But you know what? It is just an NBA 2K rebuild, so we're going to give... We're just going to do this deal uh, with the Bucks, And we're just going to get Drew Holiday. I mean... Uh, can I make him a point guard? Like, what happens if I do, uh, what happens if I do that? If I edit him and make him a point guard? His overall is going to go down, I already know, just because, but, if it doesn't, that'd be great. Ah, it does, but you know what? I'd rather have him be a point uh, just so that he will start, and then Jalen Brunson can come off the bench. So that's actually pretty good, and then we still have four shooting guards, but um, I would like a better small forward and a better power forward. So I might look to make another deal. All right, we'll do this deal with the Bulls. We'll do this deal with the Bulls. We'll get Denzel Valentine. We do need a small forward. And I might just look up to pick a power forward and free agency. Can I sign a free agent? That is the real question. Can I do that? Can I sign a power forward? Can I sign Earl Jenkins? Yes. Ooh, that's actually a good signing. It's actually a very good signing. Who is Earl Jenkins, by the way? Is he real? I don't even know. Is he a real guy, or is it, like, one of those, like, 2K make-a-wish things? Where they, like, put people in the game. I, I don't know. But... If he is a real guy, I apologize. You guys can let me know in the comments if he's real. Uh, but he's actually be our starting power forward, I think. So I'm cool with that. And he's a young guy as well. So, or no, he's not going to be our small starting power, power forward. Okay, well, we still have him anyway. So I'll take that. I mean, the team's looking pretty good. Drew Holiday is our point guard with Luka Doncic, Dorian Finney-Smith, Max Kleber, and Chris Kristaps Porzingis with Josh Richardson, Jalen Brunson, Earl Jenkins, Dwight Powell off the bench. Actually pretty balanced, I mean, except for the fact that we kind of have a little bit of a weak spot in small forward position, but uh, we, we, we live, we live, we live, we live. But uh, let's take a look at our system proficiency. Balanced is what Rick Carlin wants to run, which we could do. We could we can make deal with that. So I'm just going to simulate the season. Um, I'll just let most of my young guys progress. Um, if I have to make a move, I'll make a move at the trade deadline, but otherwise... I'm not really gonna make any moves. So I'll just see you guys at the trade deadline where I'll show you the stats so far. All right, so we're 20, 20, 27 and 27. So we're actually kind of embarrassing to our friends and family. I don't know why, but I imagine someone got hurt. 
Why is it that every time I play, like, with a team, it's always gotta be they get injured? Why? Why does Chris Dabbs Porzingis have to get injured? Because now his value is gonna go down. <laughs> <sighs> well, Luka Doncic is carrying the team, pretty much. Um... Anyone, anyone upset? I mean, not really. Oh, well, Doreen Vinny Smith is aggro. I can't stand when people say aggro. It just bothers me so much. But, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna let the team roll out. Hopefully, Chris Tapps for Ziggs gets healthy. But we're the ninth seed. We're the ninth seed. What is this? Who is STK, by the way? What is that? What is STK? Is that like a is that like a G League team? What is STK? Does anyone know who STK is? I'm just curious to know if anyone knows who what that is. STK. Would that be like a G League team? STK. Stockton Kings. That would make the most sense. And then there's probably like an OKC team here. But I don't know who it would be that the OKC team. But, uh. Yeah. I was just really curious. I didn't know what o what STK meant, but I guess it'd be in Stockton. Alright, here we go. Let's simulate the rest of the season. Alright, Giannis was the MVP. Um, James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, Six Man of the Year. Mo uh, Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most Improved was Mike Porter Jr. and Brad Stevens, the Coach of the Year. Al Harper, Executive of the Year. Uh, Luka Doncic made the All-NBA First Team, which is great to see. Great to see from this fine young gentleman over here. Averaging 30 and 11 and 9. I mean... Had a great year. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great to see him there. Uh, wow, that sucks for Trey Young. That he's hurt. Good thing it wasn't when I was simulating that he didn't get hurt. Of course, Drew Holiday has a collapsed lung. He made all defensive second, which is nice. He had a good year then defensively. But uh, unfortunately, he's hurt. So this is basically this season's a basically a lost cause. Even though we made the playoffs as a seven seed, we just we kind of just got hurt. We just have too many injuries. But uh, let's take a look at our statistics or player stats. No, oh, I don't want to do this. Why did I go there? Okay, player stats. Oh, that looks really cool, though. But yeah, Chris Debs is back, though, 20 and 10. But uh, we don't have a we don't have Drew Holiday, so that's gonna be kind of hard for us. But um, with that being said, if you guys want to simulate or just look at the stats, just pause them. Rest of the team, uh, pretty good though, pretty good nevertheless. We're taking on the Pelicans in round one. Um, chances are they're gonna beat us, and it's probably not gonna be close. But you never know with 2K. All right, we didn't get swept, but we lost in five, so kind of not a surprise. And uh, we'll just simulate the rest of the playoffs, and the Denver Nuggets win the NBA Finals against the Miami Heat. Uh, Jokic was the Finals MVP, so good for them. Uh, with that being said, we'll have to make some moves. I want to free up some cap because I need to sign. A, I want to sign a big free agent, possibly if I can afford one, next to KP and Luca. All right, even though he always gets angry with life, seems like a very unhappy human, at least in 2K. We're gonna get Precious, Achiwa, Achiwa, and a second round pick. For Dwight Powell, Maxi Cleaver, I'm clearing a cap here. So we free up 18, 18 million, which is pretty good. Um, I'm trying to see who else we need to uh, trade though. I'm honestly just clearing cap. We're getting Malachi Flynn and a future first round pick. We're trading away three players in a second. Sam Merrill, Wesley, Uwundu, and Dorian Finney-Smith, who we won't have a starting small forward, but he's displeased with the team anyway. So we're going all in. We're going all in on free agency. We're, we're really banking on getting some players. All right, future proofing. We're doing this. We're clearing up. We're giving them Josh Green. Pelican's giving them Josh Green and a second round pick. We're gonna get two future picks from the Lakers, which could turn out to be well, assuming LeBron and AD leave in free agency. 
um, which would be very nice to use in trade future trade bait. We don't have any picks, I don't think. Perfect. Team player options. So we're gonna accept Luca. We're gonna accept all these guys except for Tyler Bay. I don't really care about Tyler Bay. Um, Josh Richardson declined his player option. That's actually fine. And Drew Holiday accepted his. I mean, that's cool with me. We need to have we have to have some money here for free agency. If I'm if I'm correct, we also need to resign O Jenkins. I'd like to resign him as well, possibly, but not the end of the world if we don't. Um, how much money do we have? Ugh, we're short by a million. Okay, so at least for Giannis, we could get Kawhi. I'm gonna offer Kawhi after I flip somebody. I gotta do one more trade. We gotta free up cap. All right, Malachi Flynn, we're flipping into the Bulls. Free up an extra two and a two two million. Um, we need to sign a free agent. We need to we need to make a massive team. So, Giannis wanting to go to the Spurs is kind of gross. I would love to sign Giannis, Kawhi, or AD. I mean, I'll take AD as well. But I would just like we get AD all the time. So I would really really want Giannis. I really, really want Giannis. Really, really want Giannis. And he doesn't want to come to our team. Okay, but you know what? Knowing 2K, this is what they usually do. That's what they usually do. So, it'll, he'll, he'll be there. He'll be there for sure. All right, I'm going to round some rights on all these people. So, we have 40 million in cap. We're just going to renounce the rights on all of them. Giannis is the Spurs. Okay. I'm going to offer AD in case in case we can't get No, nah, there there's no way. There's no way we don't get anybody 2K. No. No, 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 no. So you do you we do this every time Every every time we do a rebuild, they always come back into free agency. You're telling me now that I trade my entire team to free up cap, I'm I'm pissed. I'm, I'm I'm beside myself. But I know what I'm going to do. I have an, I actually have a very good idea of, of what I want to do. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to sign a bunch of people to one-year deals, and we'll, we'll shoot our shot again in next period and see. All right, so we signed DeMar DeRozan on a one-year deal. We just signed a bunch of guys on a one-year deal so that we have some cap, cap flexibility. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to extend Luka. We still have KP. I, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Drew Holiday's expiring. Um, but yeah, everyone, we're basically going to have, we're, this is an all or nothing year technically because the team could be completely different besides Luka Doncic by next year. So we kind of need to hope no one gets hurt and just have a good year. Um, because we struck out on free agency. We struck out. We struck out big time. We didn't, we could not get a big name for whatever reason. We couldn't get a big name. I don't know why, but, uh, I, I do like the way I do like the roster we got going here. Drew Holiday is now coming off the bench, which is interesting. Jalen Brunson will be the starter. Um, okay, 2K. Um, I mean, I'm fine with that, but just, but uh, yeah. Anyways, let's just simulate the trade deadline. See how we're doing. If I need to flip someone, I will. Hopefully, those picks are helpful because we might use we might have to use those in trade bait. We might have to use it in trade, but if we make a trade now or in the or in the next off season, we'll have, we'll, those will be useful. <sighs> All right, we're 30 and 23 at the trade deadline, but we're the eighth seed. We're the eighth seed. Um, let's take a look at. I just want to look at the standings. Cause, wow, the West is not that good. We're only four and a half games back. Really, there's no there's really no good team in the NBA. That's kind of odd i feel like we're dealing with a lot of injuries as well like that seems to be the main main culprit luka Doncic, what a year from him that is great to see i'm happy to see that 
Luka's having a great year. Um, anyone getting hurt? Let me see the games played. Porzingis isn't getting hurt. So, did no, no one really getting hurt. That's like relevant on the team. So I don't know what it is, but KP is unhappy. I guess he's not getting enough shots and touches, which isn't good because we'll probably have to flip him. Will we will re-sign Drew Holiday, extend him for a much cheaper deal. Um, I might have to make I'm, and then of course he's fed up for so I don't. Why does he keep getting fed up? What is that, 2K? I don't understand, but I can't, I can't make people happy, can I? Um, do that with the coaching game plan. So what we're gonna do? Can I make a move? Possibly. I don't know. Do I want to flip Demar Derozan? I mean, I'll, I'll look to see. I want to see what my what value I can get with these picks. Picks are very valuable. Um, I can get Donovan Mitchell, who's averaging 30 points. I'd have to trade Jalen Brunson, but do we do that? Do we do that? Do we do this? Do we do this now? I feel like we do this now. Because there's no guarantee. <sighs> That's a really good deal. We're getting a lot of good deals. We can get, we can get, like, remember these guys would be, like, untouchable in past 2Ks? It's not the case. We can get Clay. I don't know if I want Clay, though, but. Donovan Mitchell. That might be the move. But let me see what the other picks. What, what is, what is, uh. What does this pick have? Which is all of them. No, wait. What do they all have? I'm just curious to see all the values. And, I mean, I'm not going to trade ours, but... Oh, my lord, have mercy. Have mercy. We can get... We can get Bam out of bio. And then we can flip KP. Do I do that? Do I do this? And then flip KP? I don't know if that's worth it though. That's not worth it. I definitely want to get. I want to get. I want to get Donovan Mitchell. So let's get Donovan Mitchell. I'm gonna get Donovan Mitchell. I'm trading Jalen Brunson, trading Demar Derozan on a one-year deal. We get Donovan Mitchell. He's be striking a free agency again. And I'll look to flip for Royce O'Neal in the offseason. Clear cap. But there we go, that's that's beautiful. Now, KP is unhappy, and so is Precious. Do I look to flip them? What can I get? I get Bam out of bio. That might be the move, that might be the move, ladies and gentlemen. TJ Warren and Malcolm Brogdon is good, is good as well. I get Westbrook as a point guard and Daniel House. D'Angelo Russell. We haven't gotten D'Angelo Russell at all. Clay Thompson. There's a lot of good deals here. But I think I'm gonna take this one. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get Bam Bio. We get Derek White. Derek White. Precious is a good player, but valuable player, but he's always fed up. You have to trade a second round pick, but I'm okay with that. We don't have cap space now, but I'm fine with that. I'm. F I mean, Donovan Mitchell, Luka Doncic. That's a really good backcourt, and we get Bam in the in the in the front. Drew Holiday. I mean, we can still make some moves. We can still make some moves in the offseason. Maybe free up some cap and get like a better some better depth. But I'm going all in with this team. We're going all in like this. This is what we're doing. Flipped KP. Didn't really want to flip KP, but he was unhappy, so it is what it is. Let's sit in at the end of the season and see how we do. Luka Doncic with the MVP. Great to see from him. 32, 11, and 9. Great year from him. Shot 43.6% from the three-point range. That's pretty good. Pretty good from him. Gabe Cunningham is a rookie of the year on the Bulls. Obi Toppin, six-man of the year. Defense player of the year, Jonathan Isaac. Most improved with Mellow Ball. Brad Stevens, coach of the year. Lance Alford, executive of the year. All right, so here's your all NBA first team. Luka Doncic obviously going to be there. Not a surprise whatsoever. Not a surprise whatsoever. LeBron going to OKC is actually a pretty good move for them. 
really good move for them. Uh, all NBA second team, do we have anybody? Yes, we do. Bam and Bio, who we traded for. 21 and 15 and 6 with two blocks a game. Dude, what did Jokic put up? I, I don't know. You can make the argument that you can make the argument that Bam out of Bio deserved all NBA first, but still great, great to see. He's probably gonna be on all defensive team. Yep, all defensive second. Good to see. Yeah. Okay. So not bad, not bad at all. We were the six seed though. Um, but we are looking good. Like our team chemistry is looking good. I think we're a dangerous six seed. Um. And everyone's healthy. Donovan Mitchell also. Was he not on an All-NBA team? I don't even know. I didn't see it. But he had 29 points a game, which is great to see from him. Three guys averaging 20 points. That's really nice. And then Drew Holiday kind of did his thing. But the only thing we don't have is depth. James Johnson's hurt. What a surprise. What a surprise. I'm shocked. But, um, yeah, we're taking on the Spurs, who I think have Giannis. So they could beat us, but... I think we traded them, uh, did we trade them somebody? I thought we traded them, I thought we traded somebody to them, but I don't remember. I guess not, but, uh, we're gonna simulate game by game. So game one, we beat them by three points. Game two, we're up 2-0 well on them. Can we go up 3-0? Let's sweep them. There we go. Dude, let's go, let's go. We're, we're clicking right now. Taking on Denver. Taking on Denver. We beat them game one. Game two, they beat us. Game three, they're up 3-2. Three, two, uh, 2-1, two, they're up 3-1. And we are probably going to lose in five. Probably, but let's see. Maybe not. We're, oh, we're, we're beating them. We're going to blow them out. Okay, good. So, going on to a game six. And, of course, Bam Adebayo got hurt. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. Mm, we're losing. We are getting blown out. Yep. Not even close. Injuries, man. Injuries. Absolute pain. Brooklyn Nets win the chip. So we have some we have some work to do in the offseason to get where we need to go. It's boomer bust. Boomer bust. So we had made a trade with the Raptors, I'm assuming. We have their pick, and it went five. We didn't trade their pick, so I'm gonna flip Drew Holiday, Royce O'Neal. We're gonna get Clay Thompson, and we're gonna get Julia Okafor. We're just doing it, and we're gonna make Clay Thompson our small forward. I think, right? I think, I think so. Possibly. Uh, we also had another pick, I guess, a, a, a rookie guy, fine with that. Um, so what we're going to do, we kind of just need to sign Luka Doncic and not worry about anybody else, because we don't have money. We don't have money at all, unless one of these guys wants to sign for $10 million a year, although James Harden doesn't have an offer, so James Harden. I'm gonna throw James Harden on one year, 10, 10 point six million million no, dollars. The unsafe he accepts it. He's not going to. He's not going to. But you know what? He's insulted. I, I figured he would be insulted. But <laughs> I did it for the memes. I did it for the memes. Ooh, the Rockets. You guys aren't. You guys aren't slick. The Rockets are not slick. I'm maxing Luca. Pretty much. Like, who's give him that? He'll accept that. Ooh, no, he won't. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to match any offer that Luka Doncic gets. So, he's the only one that I care about. So, let's just... We're obviously matching. Clearly, clearly going to match. Um. So, let's do that. Let's match Luka Doncic. Perfect. Trey Young. Can we get anybody in a minimum? Like, is that even possible? How is that possible? It used to be possible in like past 2Ks where like you could get really lucky and get someone on a minimum, but it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. But let's see if we can make some other small signings and I'll see you guys at the start of the next season. All right, so the team's looking incredible. So what I'm gonna do, 
Clay Thompson. I'm going to make him a small forward. I'm going to make him a small forward. I want to see what the coach wants to do. So they, they're having... Okay, so they have Donovan Mitchell starting at the point. And Luka Doncic at the shooting guard. And they actually have Clay Thompson at the small forward. So you know what? That's fine. Uh, the bench is kind of sus. And we don't really have a great power forward. But I'm just going to hope we can get carried by a big four. I'm just going to hope that this big four can carry us to victory. Um, let's just take a look at system proficiency. Balance seems to be the best option for us. So we're going to keep it that way. Four stars. That's pretty good. Uh, but that being said, let's just simulate to the trade deadline. See if I want to make some moves. But otherwise, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right. We're 33 and 20. We're the fourth seed. That's not bad, but it's not good enough. What's going on here? Why are we not... What, what is this? What's going on here? Who's Who's been getting hurt? Donovan Mitchell. That doesn't help. When Donovan Mitchell is getting hurt... Yeah, we, the, the, I keep getting screwed over by 2K simulation. Like, I really do. But Donovan Mitchell is having 27 in 23 games, which is good. But as long as these guys are happy, that's all I care about. As long as these guys are happy. And they are. Luka Doncic is just on a whole nother planet when it comes to game when it comes to this game and basketball um bam is also having a good year 19 13 and a block and a half clay thompson put up nearly 20 and what's his three point percentage looking like 44 percent not bad not bad not bad at all from clay um so yeah hopefully we could just stay healthy and just continue to build chemistry and um no one's really upset so i like this group of people already all right, let's just simulate the rest of the season and hopefully things go well for us. Right, Trey Young takes the MVP this time, averaging 35 and 12. I mean, he had a really good year. He had a very good year. So. Uh, Randolph Rose was the rookie of the year for the Jazz. Kevin Porter Jr., sixth man of the year. John Nice, defensive player of the year. Most improved was Michael Porter Jr. on the Toronto Raptors. Stan Van Gunny, coach of the year. And Thomas Sutton was the executive of the year. Um, Luka Doncic, right arm hairline fracture day-to-day, -day, but he should be able to play. He had a really good year, nearly a triple-double. So, all the first team, good to see from him. Bronze on the Nuggets. Um, okay. Not sure how that happened, but it did. Um, anyone? Anyone? Really? Donovan Mitchell is not... Oh, because he got hurt too much. That's probably why. That's literally the only reason why. Bam and Abayo, all defensive second team. He's also hurt, but 20 and 13, pretty much. 20, 13, 5. Yeah, he's really good. Dude, our team is really good. I just feel like we're just keep getting hurt, which is incredible. Doug Ball, another ball brother in the in the NBA. We're the fourth seed, but uh, I, I honestly feel like we're better than that. So let's just take a look and see what we've got in terms of player statistics. What do we got? Okay, Donovan Mitchell almost averaging. Like, when you have got two guys averaging nearly 30 points a game and then another averaging 20 and a guy averaging... Like, like what is this? How do we have six people averaging double figures? It is just beyond me. But then again, some of these guys didn't play that much. And they kind of just filled in, but still, like, wow. Like, it's... You know what? My bench is a little bit more reliable than I thought it was, which is good. But, uh, yeah, we have to make sure that we stay healthy and don't get hurt. Chemistry's not looking great, but you know what? I think we can I think we can make do with it. Al Horford's the starting power forward right now, literally. Like that's our only weak spot. But uh, other than that, let's just simulate. Game one we lose. Nice. Don't tell me we're gonna lose. Don't tell me we're gonna lose. Don't tell me we're gonna get swept. Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. You really have to be kidding me. I'm getting screwed over by 2K. I'm getting screwed over. I'm getting royally fucked in the ass by 2K. I'm literally getting royally fucked in the ass. There's no way that my team... No, we're doing another year. This is bullshit. This is actually bullshit, 2K. It really is. This is an embarrassment to your, to your game. This is really an embarrassment. Okay, I'm just gonna do this deal. Because he's a higher overall and he's a little bit cheaper. So we're gonna do that. We're not gonna have much cap, but I just need to somehow make a bench. That's all I need to do. We're, keep, we're, we're running this back. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Unless I make a big move that's worth talking about, you'll just see me at the end of the season. We, There's no way this team should not be winning a championship. Like, it's actually ridiculous that we keep getting hurt. All right, Luka Doncic, MVP. Once again, 30, 10, 9.5. Pretty good year from him. Trump, 45 and 3. Let's go. 
great efficiency from him. Uh, Ed Hawkins, Rookie of the Year. Devontae Graham, Sixth Man of the Year. Defensively of the Year, Giannis. Most improved, Cole Anthony. Good year from him. And then Rick Carlisle, our coach, Coach of the Year, as well as Thomas Sutton being our Executive of the Year. Two players on our team, all NBA first team. Luka Doncic. Very, very nice to see. And then, of course, Bam Adebayo. Averaging 21 and 14, two blocks a game. I mean, he, he honestly, he was worth trading for. He really was. All NBA second team. And All NBA third team. How is how is it that Donovan Mitchell is not making any of these teams? I don't know. All defense first team. Not a surprise. We see Bam and Abayo there. Don't tell me he's hurt. Just all I care about is no one being hurt. We have a number one seed. Please don't be hurt. Please don't be hurt. Please, 2K, don't screw me over. That's all I beg. Okay. Cool. He didn't get hurt. He had a good year. 24. 24 and 5. Not bad. Not bad from him. How did he shoot? Dude, he... Donovan Mitchell's really good as well. Like, dude, we have a good team. Clay Thompson did his thing. T Tyson Arnold also a really good year from him. He's a nice little pickup off the bench. Um... Yeah, we need to we need to win. We have a really good team. We have a really good team, so we need to win. We need to win. Hopefully, we do. Nico Melli is our starting power forward. Interesting. All right. The only one that's pissed is Jack T. But you know what? I don't really care. All right. I'm gonna simulate the round against the Spurs. They could beat us, but you know what? We should beat them. 2K, don't screw us over. They almost screwed us over. We almost lost in seven. Taking on Memphis. Okay, do we have any injuries? Yes or no? No. Okay, beautiful. All right, taking on Grizzlies. Can we beat them? We get screwed over! Yes! I love getting screwed over by simulation. Dude, that's ridiculous. This is bullshit. That's honestly bullshit. We got fucked over. We actually got fucked over by 2K. We actually got fucked over by 2K. How does the- How? Just how? Like, really? Really? Just how? Really? Really? You're actually kidding me. This is dumb, man. This game, man. Dude, how is it that every time I don't play the Dallas Mavericks, they win? When I pick them, they lose. That's actually an embarrassment to your game, 2K. That really is. Alright, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm annoyed, as you can see. It's just stupid that we didn't win the NBA championship. How is it that we have Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell, Bam Adebayo, Klay Thompson? It's a big four. How does that not win an NBA Finals? How? How does Jokic on the Pistons win an NBA Finals? Like how? Just, it doesn't make any sense, but... Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a like if you did. Subscribe uh, if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some other future rebuilding ideas. Check out my Twitch, Twitter, Discord. Other playlists as well. Other videos in the playlist as well in the description. Yeah, I already know people are going to hate because I didn't get a championship with the Dallas Mavericks, but you know what? I blame 2K. I honestly blame 2K and their crummy simulation. There's no way we lose. There's just no way. Like, I'm annoyed, but hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, take care. Peace. Okay, guys, I know that I said I ended the video. I just wanted to see in case I was getting capped by 2k and I am like I literally am. I'm getting capped. I simulate again. We get the number one seed. Bam and I buy one the MVP. I lose in seven. There's just no money. There's no way. Because Luka Doncic got hurt. The entire regular season. Then he comes back. Comes back. We lose in seven to, to the Denver Nuggets. The eight seeded Denver Nuggets. It makes no sense. 2K makes no sense. I'm done. I'm done. This isn't a complete failure, but I blame 2K. There's no way that my team... This is my team. There's no way that should not have won a championship. Maybe my bench was weak, but even then, like... Look what I'm dealing with here. How? How? Alright, I'm done now. See you guys.